Oh, yeah. Their answers are so powerful and like, oh, yes. <laughs> yeah, of course. They have been looking forward to this for so long. And they were adamant it had to be here at Rising Phoenix. They just love the energy that Jackie has here. It's, yeah. Um, and honestly, I don't know if they're going to come back. This may have been it. Because it took them months to prepare me for this. And, you know, they, this might be a... So I, I'm so happy that we're all here together. And thank you for not, like, saying to them, hey, you're running late. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Oh. Yeah, that was um uh well thank you all. Thank you. I I can tell you from my perspective, um it was almost like I was in the audience with you, except um you know like when you're watching TV and you're like sort of semi napping. It was a little bit like that. Like I was there and I was not there because they kept like pushing me. <laughs> yeah, I, I could hear everything they were saying, but they, they really did not want my energy in it at all. Um, but I, it was, um, I, I know they were having the most wonderful time and I could see like the energy that was connecting everyone and connecting you, the energy coming down. And I could see like so many um, different light beings, divine beings, like coming in and out and messages being sent to everyone. Like, like, and they were like, they looked like almost like little fairies or sprites, like flying in with messages. Like it was, it was wild. So I was distracted by the bright color, bright shiny colors. <laughs> Uh -huh. So I can tell you, if you had personal messages through this, honor them, honor them. Um, and um, the more you remain open and receptive to whatever, you know, just tap back into this, mm -hmm. they can send more, like all the questions they answered will make more and more sense as you're going forward. Um, Can you reference Mandalas a lot? Is that yeah. just an energy grid? Or yeah. Like yeah, it's just like a network, a grid. Um, like one of them, I think the, even one answer, the answers to the question of you have them all around, like those have done the same thing everybody said exactly. <laughs> yeah, they kind of think... <laughs> They think everyone can see energy networks. Like They think all of us can see energy. Um, and I think that also works with what they were saying about start think, seeing things not from our human eyes, but going up from the, the co global and cosmic perspective. Um, because then you really do see the networks more. Um, so mandalas are just grids, networks. And when you think about it, like our chakras are not just glowing orbs in our body. They are areas where uh, different energetic lines, some physical, some non-physical, cross each other so much so that they set up a glow. But really a chakra is a mandala within itself because it's a crossing of a lot of grids. Um, all of us sitting together, we had energy, especially when that whole like, who, who was it who asked about the multiplicity of, oh my God, <laughs> that was amazing. That was amazing. I'm like, you know, as soon as you said that, like I was there going, huh? And they're like, get out of here. <laughs> but that created a mandala between all of us that then that prism that was in the middle, that was a chakra that was of the mandala between us, you know, and this is not going to end. Every time there's energy touching, it doesn't stop unless you, um, as long as it's being fed on some level. So, um, like most of the mandalas that connect, like say the cat collective, 
Like, anyone here have cats? Okay. <laughs> or dogs? Yeah, stray cats are good. Or dogs? Okay. So, if you practice animal communication with your animal, uh, then your animal will know that you can connect. Invite, ask them to invite you to go dream with them. What my cats will do, the dog not so much. He's like, eh, like he and I have other dreams. He likes to take me into past lives where we've known each other and relive adventures we had. Mm -hmm. But um, mm -hmm. my cats will take me through the cat mandala. So all cats are connected and they're connected to their higher selves, their souls, and to the cat collective that exists outside of physical. So like Donovan, the albino Maine Coon cat, he's like a 23 pound fuzzy cat with a mane. And he's all mine, he's all pink and white because he's albino with these weird eyes. Um, so we'll go to sleep and he'll say, come, come with me. And the next thing I know, we're like in Africa watching the lions. And sometimes he'll actually have us be lions with the lions and we're in the lion pride. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, this is crazy. He's like, don't tell them you're human. They'll eat us. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm like, Donovan, you're a house cat. How do you know about lions? And he's like, because it's the cat collective. He said, now the house cats have their own collective and like different breeds of cats, like cats of this area, that area have their own mini collective, their own mini mandala, but they're all connected. So, um, so that's a, a mandala. Um, like what, what is that Keanu Reeves movie series? The Matrix. The Matrix. <laughs> that's all mandalas. Um, but if you think about it, like, so we're each in a mandala or a, a tribe with our own higher self and all of our past lives, right? Mm -hmm. So I am the sum of me, my higher self, all my past and future lives and all the essence within me that has not gone to life and who has like spent time with other races or beings. And I'm connected with all of them. So I'm like my own walking mandala that's connected. Well, what if we knew each other in a past life? So our past lives have this connection. We're here now. We already got this connection. Okay. I mean, and what if we work together outside of life? And so like, you know, we may be in the same soul family or different soul families, but we work in the same, I don't know, spirit office or something. And, and you guys knew each other in a past life. And like, you know, like there's all these connections. So if you really spend time looking at connections, you get to the point as you go outward, 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 where all existence is one chakra. So I know it's like the, what's that? <laughs> A good one. <laughs> and when you see where there's like, avarice or hatred or whatever that's like the same as like when they were saying you know look inside and see if there are blemishes like on a piece of fruit so wherever you have people living in hate those are like blemishes on the fruit so if i'm me looking at a whole group of people who live in hate i.e like politicians in our country like not all of them obviously we've got aoc and um but uh, the ones who are like trying to, you know, like, oh, the gas company's paying me a lot of money to like put down solar power, you know, and there's like so much fear and hate there. If you go in a, like, if I go up against that, I'm overwhelmed. What am I going to do? I'm just a girl. But if I go to the higher level and I've learned to see all reality as one chakra, and then I look at that, it's just the tiniest little essence of darkness. And from there, we can send a lot of love and light to it, and it has an effect. Mm -hmm. So that's part of what she was talking about. And that goes also into, who brought up multiplicity of women? That was you, right? Yeah, that also goes to there. Who brought up the black bear? That was <laughs> you. Was awesome. <laughs> oh, my God. The moment she said that, like, I was hit with all these visions, like, very powerful, mm -hmm. very powerful. So but the, I had it. Yeah, I, I'm like, 
you know, it was amazing. But um, while there's no need for you to like satisfy my overwhelming curiosity, <laughs> um, they, they were saying, use the power. This is a powerful animal totem for you. And he sleeps with me every night. I got that, but I just really have a little doggy at night. So. Well, the black bear and the doggy can live in harmony. Yeah, no, that that's okay. The black bear will not eat the doggy. But they said part of it is like, you know, we're told the divine feminine. It's about nurturing, but what about like who is the um, the Indian goddess of destruction? Hmm? Yes, Kali. The black bear is very similar to Kali because it's all about manifestation. You have to destroy to grow. But like we're like, oh, Kali, she's all about destruction. They're like, yeah, that's what men want you to think because they do not want women manifesting. Like Kali is about tearing down the old so that the new can come forward. It, it, it's about like literally giving birth. That's Kali. And that's what the black bear is for you. So they said at the moment, you're a little overwhelmed because this black bear is like so potentially ferocious. But the ferocious is just part of it. Yeah, very powerful. Very powerful. Now, if you had a grizzly bear or a polar bear, that would be, or a Kodiak bear, that would be totally a different one. But they said once you get comfortable with the black bear energy, you can utilize all the rest. Yeah. Yeah. They're like comfortable with it, right? That's the key. Is <laughs> yeah. Like, yeah. allowing it to merge. Yeah. Don't be worried about, like, you can even say to the black bear, your ferociousness scares me. Show me, please show me stuff that's not frightening so we can get to know each other. Yes. Um, you can, what they say, invite your dog and the black bear to have a dream picnic with you. Because everyone has fun on a picnic. <laughs> yeah, a tea party picnic. Because we all know about the teddy bear picnic. Right, right. Okay, that's where that is. <laughs> yeah. Uh, well, thank you all so much. This was amazing. Thank you. Thank you, Jackie. Thank you.